So we've got now the wire-free dehum kit out for the GBA. This removes all the noise on the actual audio line. Uh, some people struggle soldering the original kit on with capacitors. This one's to make it much easier. Uh, but still, soldering to the battery spring on this one can be difficult for some if you don't know how to do it. So I'm just going to quickly show you how I soldered this to the GBA. And then you can have yours installed in a few minutes. Let's go and have a look. So the first thing we do is take the dehum kit, place it into position. And where you will solder the pads is the first one down here to the battery spring. Uh, this pad will go to the bottom, let me grab some tweezers, uh, to the bottom of this capacitor here. Then at the top you've got two more pads that go onto these two capacitors here. So they go to, move that out of the way, they go to the bottom of this capacitor and the bottom of this tiny capacitor. So I'll show you how to solder these first. Uh, remove the board and what we want to do now is pre-tin all the points that we're going to solder to. So pre-tinning most of the pads is really easy. Just set your iron to about 350 degrees Celsius. Uh, feed in some solder onto the bottom pad of the capacitor. And you're looking for a slight ball of solder so it turns shiny. Uh, once you have that, that's all that pre-tinning is. It's putting fresh solder on so you have a nice little ball of solder. We do the same for these two capacitors. These are nice and quick. Just try and put your iron on the component and then feed your solder in. Try not to just put your solder straight to your iron because the flux burns off fast and then it's harder to work with. Uh, the little capacitor you can leave if you want, but if you are going to tin it, uh, you have to do it quickly um, because the heat will transfer fast and you could pull the capacitor off. So if you're going to do this one, just quickly dab. If not, don't worry about it. When we put the board down, it should naturally flow into position. Uh, now the one that people struggle with is going to be this battery spring and the reason is it's a large metal heat sink it's a load of metal uh, it's also tinned with likely nickel uh, to prevent corrosion resistance so before you can solder to big areas uh, such as say the top of here or these battery springs um, instead of feeding solder in more and more which is what a lot of people do when it just bubbles up onto the end of the iron all you do is place your iron on the actual switch uh, sorry on the battery spring feed a little bit of solder in, and then just wait until that solder flows onto the spring. And there you see it disappear off the iron and it just flowed onto the spring. That's now broken through the layer to the metal underneath and you can now tin as if you're tinning normal pads nice and quick without leaving the heat on longer. If you don't do that step, you will have the dehum kit board in place and likely burn the dehum kit. So it's important to pre-tin this so that solder is flowing onto the spring. Once it's tinned, no longer leave your iron on for a long while, otherwise the solder will just fall through the bottom. So with that all pre-tinned, place the board down onto the GBA. Get it in a rough position. I like to start with either the bottom corner or the top corner. And again, it helps you could pre-tin these pads on the dehum kit. So you could put solder on each pad. This helps you then work with the tweezers in one hand and not have to have solder in the other hand. So if we get this pad close to the capacitor here and hold it with tweezers, because both sides are pre-tinned, all we've got to do is touch the iron and it will bridge over. Do this pad the same way, hold it down to the board, warm up the solder of both joints and they should flow together. If we then go to the two capacitors, identical procedure, just place the board down. Here, they will hit these components underneath, so they won't want to sit flush. So if you press near here, you will press the board further down. So we want to try and keep the board flat, so you go in like that, and this capacitor will bend slightly forward, that's normal. So if you get the tweezers there, you can bridge the gap here. And if you notice, there's a huge gap between this capacitor now. So instead, let's just gently warm up and push forward so that it's nice and close. It's important to be close because that's what's going to get this to join. If you're far away or you have a gap, this will never solder. And then the tiny one again, be careful not to solder any of these pins on here. So probably use your soldering iron this way if you're not comfortable. 
and then you just gently touch and it will bridge over. Uh, you can use flux to help this, uh, it's not necessarily required but it does help. Uh, and that's the board on in a few minutes, it's that simple. If you get stuck at all we do have a Discord channel, uh, just jump on there for any questions but hopefully this makes the dehunk kit much easier to install.